battle and a zero six star Adrenal League. Okay. Well, let's say it's a new start today, right? Yeah. Because it's a new roster, new captain, new maybe not new strategy. I'd say their picking style is still similar, not completely the Double same, but deity. it's close. But they've more late game than they usually have. MYM usually go for weird things like Venge and like Chen and stuff like that. Yeah, I think the late game is going to favor MYM unless their lanes just go completely terrible. Looks like they are going to be leaving the Centaur pretty much to solo in the off lane, so it's going to be the two supports pretty much keeping an eye on the Spectre. So Ace is going to... Uh, I think he'll be fine here. If he gets Nightmare, it could be a little bit troublesome, but Centaur's strength gain is pretty good. If he can get, like, level 2 or 3, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that he didn't go for a Stout Shield. Um, there, There is a argument for, hey, if Stout Shield doesn't help me survive against their initiating combo, just better get the boots and get out of the range. So there's there's that. But yeah, it looks like he's going to be just zoned out simply by the fact that he's afraid of a Nightmare coming in. still feel as though rotating the Dazzle top might still be a bit better. Although then you have the situation where Smogalig pretty much gets to do whatever he wants. And he's going to even get the D ward on That's the lane. Right. Right. Nice. Oh, he denied the ward. <laughs> nice. Well nice. played. Come on, and you can see he just doesn't care. He's going to high shell and be like, yep, I'm going to trade hits with you. It does very little damage level 1 though. That's enough to make him run away. Yeah. And as long as he can get an experience range, then that's pretty much all he needs, right? And then we got this mid matchup. It's Invoker versus Puck, where as it stands right now, Ryze and MSS are more or less dead even. And Smoke Leg is going to be taking some more harassment bottom. But this for me, like Dog's lanes are pretty darn important because if they don't get a good start, it's very difficult to come Actually, back against smuggling. the Spectre lineup. Smoogling is being really zoned out now. He's going to have to yeah. burn himself. One thing that I was uh, talking to AI about when we were doing the patch lock analysis for the 6.81, um, as, <laughs> as a support versus offlane, one of your job is to actually just trade regens. And the fact that Crit was able to burn three tangles and now a salve, um, yeah, sure, Crit himself is out of regen, but because they have three heroes, they could share the regen. Smoogling is going to have a very, very tough time once his uh, regen is burned. And uh, he either has to deliver more, or he's got the crit is just like walking over him and just does not care. I think he might be in trouble soon. Who is? Smoogling? Uh, he's a little too he's fine. Even if he gets leaf seated, he'll be able to search. Oh, that's the body yeah. block. Close, but not quite. Yeah, but this is my point, right? Like he's now done in the lane, unless he brings himself a south. Yeah. The chicky is going middle as well. Yeah, it's it's a good point though, and especially for the people who maybe aren't like super high rating. It's like if you're playing in a pub game and you can get rid of all the offlaners regen even at the cost of your own, it's still worth it because if he has to go back base, that hero's role is more important. But middle lane trying to get away from the centaur. Fog unfortunately couldn't get the gank off even with the help of the smoke. But as we were talking about the offlane, just making him base is almost better than killing him sometimes early yes. on. Yes, it he is. loses more look. Yeah, oftentimes we talk about how Puck is a very difficult to gank in the mid lane, but we just saw that he doesn't actually add much to early roam smoke gank. He doesn't have initiating slun or slow, so Ryze simply just walked out of it. Uh, and Invoker is like one of the slowest Radiant's characters in the game. Especially if you're going for, attack. you know, Exhort, yeah. Yeah, non wex build. Like, just man noting at bottom, man. He's like, I don't want to be zoned anymore. I just want level 3. Do you think you should have bought more regen in this case? Like, bring well, him. sometimes you pull your offlaner if you want him to do really well. Like in this in this game, I'm a bit surprised they didn't just give him like two tangos because the safe lane's not going to be under any threat whatsoever, and Puck shouldn't necessarily need a pull against an invoker even with living armor. And you can see MSS. I mean, he's doing well. Like he's 17 and seven comparative to 11 and six uh, of Rise. So it's he's still winning the lane and he got pulled. So I'm a bit surprised that uh, the Bane didn't just give away all his tangos at level one. I mean, every little bit helps, right? Oh, wow. Just being able to stay in range. Nightmare on top. Arrow's gonna follow it up. Living armor on Ace, and he is like invincible, man. <laughs> he has he just he's taking really literally no damage. Oh, he took a bit, <laughs> but uh, return dishing it all back. Living armor. He's got four tangles. He's got the stout shield. He's grand. <laughs> I don't think any of us but Shane can actually say that. And Smoke Legs manning up here on crit. Crit gonna be forced away. Similar level 1, no grave, yeah. He might have been able to go for a kill there. Maybe he was just assuming that there might be another support nearby. But then again, he does have a ward, so... Sure. Invoker seems to be rushing a mechanism with a boot. It's pretty crazy. Uh, it's not that bad if you're planning on pushing. And this is kind of like a 4 protect 1 in the sense that your 4 are going to be playing aggressive, you know, trying to push towers, get the tier 1s down, give the Spectre some space. So in that sense, I think it synergizes pretty well with what the lineup is meant to do. But what do you think of a buckler over like just getting an early Basilius? Like, isn't well, it? a buckler is actually more stats. It gives you less damage, but it gives you more armor. And the on use is like two armor to all the creeps. So it's yeah. basically the same thing as having a Vassy. Yeah. And it lasts so long that you can just do it as soon as the creep wave comes, and it's more or less Jeez, the same. Man, effect. You can't can't mana, though. 
Yeah, I do think that actually the mana does Good matter because Chen's mana cost is actually fairly high. But you know, he's skipping it, and uh, we'll see how that how that goes. We're talking about the invoker, not the uh, Chen. Are you here today? You never no, listen no, to us, I, man. I just... You never, you never buy me anything nice anymore. <laughs> you never take me out anywhere. I'm just, I'm just so tired, guys. So, how are so you tired? tired? He was up till 6 a.m. Tired, tired of this relationship. We got some double jungle meta going on here from Dog as well, man. They're just hanging out. They're buddies. Now they're gonna smoke up. Maybe try to rotate bottom or mid for a kill. No, I, I did. Stay up to 6 a.m. to do a patch lock analysis. So listen, man. Yeah. You don't have to sell it to me, all right? No. <laughs> I'm not fucking sold. <laughs> Which, by the way, you should Dark check it out. Man. Check it out. What's your YouTube Maybe channel? <laughs> Luminous Inverse. <laughs> Who would have thought? It's yeah. like the same thing. Hey, man. Whoa. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. So here comes the smoke rotation. See if they can actually find anyone. They still have a ward it's down, but it's going to be going though. down like pretty soon. The smoke ran out. They smoked in their jungle, so they had to run a really yeah, far away. Yeah, but they don't have any vision at all from MYM. Of course, Dog Radiance don't know that. Bottom but... tower yeah, is now under attack. with that pool going on, they're going to go... Yep, oh, crit. Okay. He, d d he doesn't have grave either. He's got Search the fur bog. Armor's on cooldown. Oh, as well. nightmare! Fogged. What's going More on right fogged. Now? The what? slow comes in. Crit there is now gonna get slow. Then that should be. Oh, in. Nice. Smuggle League's gonna body block the opening there, so he can't go that way. Gets first first collapse. Yeah, and the brain's dead. Oh, fogged actually gets first kill with the test of fate. Yeah. First well played. That damage from that test of fate is always ridiculous. If you can roll high on it. Not okay. if you're me. Really? I get the 100 damage rolls every, <laughs> every time, man. Time. It's like lowest possible hits. At least it's, you know, pure damage. Yeah. It hurts. That's the only redeeming quality of that nuke for me. It's like playing PA, you just blink in, you go hit, 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 no crits, and then you just do like five damage and run away. Oh, crit once more. He does. Bane sent, uh, Bane little tomato is like really dirty combo, to be honest. Shadow Demon. It does the most damage pretty much of any creep. So if you get like the nightmare off and you get the Ursa yeah. clap for free, like your damage is gonna be pretty insane. I wonder if they're gonna dive with this with two yeah, they, uh, iron shell creeps pushing the wave. The catapult kinda hurts it though because yeah. the iron shell doesn't hurt the catapult, so the push is a little bit slower than they want it to be. They might just sacrifice this and say, okay, we'll go back to doing whatever. But at the same time, it's still kinda putting pressure on the Spectre. So Unicorn's not like farming maybe as well as he wants to, and because can he really not see Link there? He really can't see him. That was so weird. Hmm. So Invoker's gone for a Ring Basilius after the Bookler. He wants all the armor. Yeah, man. yeah. The little baby's gonna have like four. It's good though for light control. Look at that. A plus eight armor. They're I'm, 12 armor. I mean, I'm just Volker. surprised that he got it for that order. Because if you know you're gonna go for Bassy, you might as well go it first. Because yeah, the plus damage, the early armor. I don't know. I, I think that's the better order, but hey. I don't really think it matters that much because Exo Devoker usually has the base damage lead anyway. Crit though, could be in trouble yet again. Still not a single point in the grave. He's got living armor though. Testa Face gonna be there. Misery trying to go for a little bit of a body block and he's gonna go down. Brain stack gets the kill. Now 2-0 to to zero in favor of Team Dog. Yeah. The pure damage roaming from Chen and Bane. Yeah, they do. <laughs> the it really hurts, man. Yeah, yeah. one's kind of evil and gives you nightmares and one tests your fate. Faith is always lacking when I get hit by that ability. <laughs> I hit for like 100, but I always get it for max. Get it for like, what is it? Like 300 and something? 400 max, I think. 400, yeah, okay. Get hit for like 399. Because <laughs> there's still hope. There's that one bit of hope. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, considering how the early game started for Team Dog in this particular lane, remember Darks are being sent back. Now he's got that Finnish Soul Ring, as well as a Ring of Region on top. Tornadoes harassing Unicorn. They had double Iron Shout coming in. I think the Spectre is pretty much done here. Like, he's getting okay farm. In fact, pretty Second respectable. Highest. Yeah, pretty respectable for a melee carry here. But uh, it's not going to get any better. He has that Ring of Health. He can deal with the Iron Shell for a little bit. Yeah, you say that. Double Shell is really annoying. I mean, <laughs> it's going to push. And the purpose of this isn't necessarily just, like, stopping his farm, but getting the Tier 1 is a really big deal. Like, you get a Tier 1, like, 10, 12 minutes into the game, you just hold the jungle, you know? Like yeah. you just sit in there with your supports and you make it so Unicorn doesn't really have that Shut feeling away. of safety no matter where he goes. And since, I mean, Dazzle oh. still doesn't have Grave. Oh, Ace, Ace is here, he's six. They want to turn it. Should be a free kill here on Fog. There's a Stampede. Unicorn's gonna run through, gets a slow. Leech Seed to follow it up as well. Marana ult and Fog will still go down regardless. Stomp on the small delay, but he's gonna be fine. Yeah, but because how poor the supports are, they don't actually have detection. So, Moonlight Shadow comes, they only get one kill. Misery wants to turn it around. That damage. Yeah. I mean, the leech seed killed him. Oh yeah, but now he gets south, living armor, and he he just he never has to go back to base. Like he's just fine. 
Yeah, but, but they didn't get the tower though, so honestly, I think MYM are okay with that. I suppose, especially the fact that they do have uh, living armor, they Radiant's can, in theory, heal it back up to four attack. eventually. So I think honestly, PyCat's gonna have to take a more aggressive role in this game. I don't think he can really sit and farm forever. Like maybe get the tier one and then just start moving around the map with your team. Because I don't think this is a lineup Radiant that wants to function past like 25, 30 minutes in the sense that you have to still break high ground. You know what Radiant's I mean? Yeah. Like I think they want to get a lot done before that. He's got drum, so that's like battling build if I've ever seen it. I'm actually surprised that the uh, the fact that Puck did not TP down there for the fight or Mirana TPing down there because it was so group up. They basically use all of their spells, MP included, just for a Chen kill. It, it seemed to be a very easy rebuttal kill if they did make those TP, but they were pushing down those early towers, like you said. Yeah, now that Ryze has his mech, they might honestly just react to the next push bottom and then just, like once he buys boots, because he still doesn't have them right now, but if he buys boots and just carries a TP bottom, they can just go in, turn the fight with Stampede, and then just push the tier one themselves. Like they don't have to necessarily wait. And honestly, uh, Forge Spirit and Boker pushes very quickly with this kind of a lineup, and you have living armor to tank the tower shots, you could actually push quite easily. Hmm. I don't think any of their heroes can actually deal with the two Forge Spirits on the coal snap. Like, they'll all get annihilated, like... Yeah. Well, they do have the send back. They do have the Hand of God, so... There, there is some tankability. They don't have Hand of God, yeah. You don't have fuck. Yeah. Eventually they will. And they also have Surge to get somebody out of there. Um, you it can't Surge if you're getting snapped. Well, it doesn't snap constantly, right? Like, it, there, there is something to be downtime. Looks like if, you have, top if you have four quads, you actually can't get any spell off if you're getting hit enough. So, like, no, no, if no, the no, whole no. team is Let's say Marana gets snapped. Okay. Darkseer surges him. That's yeah, the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. yeah. But Tiro goes down and looks like they're not going to stop. They're going to keep going for more. I like this choice, forcing reaction from MYM. Like, at least two people are up here right now. But that also means that the Puck's going to have to deal with Invoker Mid. And I think the higher level that Ryze gets, the harder it's going to be for MSS to really do anything against this. Because Puck is more or less a burst hero, right? Like, you buy a Blink, you buy Dagon, and you try to isolate targets and kill them. That doesn't really function against a hero who just has high st sustained right-click damage. And you basically can't send him back to base now because he has mm -hmm. So It's going to be a little bit Dyer's tough for MSS to continue dealing with him on his own. Yeah, we've been seeing more and more of this matchup lately, Invoker versus Puck mid, and at least when S4 was in and then you played against each other, it seems like the Puck always came out ahead. So I'm surprised the fact that uh, Puck is losing this matchup as hard as he is, but in those matchups, none of them ever went for this Exhort mech build. I think that that's actually the key. There's no way MSS is going to get a solo oh, tree armor too. You have to yeah, yeah. for. Okay, that's a great point. So the early damage uh, or early tanking is also not in the favor of Puck. Yeah, but in a way, I think that's just kind of like MYM's draft, you know, paying dividends for itself. Because the, the longer the game goes, like Pycat went for drums. He's oh, going to fire an arrow oh. bottom. Oh, it's going to miss. Off oh, his whiskers. Yeah. Close, but no cigar. And he actually went Vanguard too, so he's ready for the mid-game aggression. It does delay his um, his Radiance by quite a bit, but I feel as though this was kind of a necessary evil Dyer's for him. He's actually going to go Drums on top of that because he's already got a Robo the Magi. Drums or Diffusal Blade? I don't really like Diffusal in this situation. Well, Maybe for the Dark Seer, they're going to be like Misery, though. Stampede, Misery Nightmares himself, gets a Brain Staff off, and the Hand of God. That effect is not bad. So unfortunately not going to be enough. And now with Hand of God down, I don't really think that Dog can fight this anymore. Almost the entirety of MYM. Boots. Yeah, it's, it's all five. And this is what I was talking about, man. Just like TP counter. Push the tower. Huh, but the rotating back. I, I think they should, like you said, push down that tier one tower because it's practically uh, they free. Yeah, yeah, they don't want to give away a free tower. All right, Crit's going to be trying to slow this down. I, so I suppose it's very good rotation from Dog. Even though losing the fight bottom, they're pressuring mid to actually prevent losses on their own tier one tower. Radiance and uh, Centaur, not attack. close to that blink dagger yet. I say that, he's 1500 gold. I think MYM is all linked. You might be able to get range here for an overgrowth. Oh, Wissed, unfortunately. Nice space shift by Radiant's MSS. Fog, though, gonna get cold snap on the high ground. Haunt was also used. Four man silence Four. and coil fog. He's actually still gonna go down. Crit gets the kill secure right there. Nice attempted nightmare deny there from Misery, but doesn't quite work out. I mean, it's something that you talked about in the drafting stage. It seems like Team Dog just don't have the necessary damage. We talked about how much burst damage Chen as well as Bane has, but aside from that, like, we saw a dream four man coil after a rainy riff, and then what happened? Nothing. They just stood there, danced well, around a bit. If they have, they wall, didn't have can... like Starfall, they didn't have an arrow. I don't even think they had the Darkseer there. No, Darkseer no. was not there, yeah. So they, they had a really good initiation, but they didn't have the people there who needed to follow up to follow up. Yeah, it's kind of all on Darkseer and, uh, and the Starfall, really. I wonder if that tier one's gonna go down and who's gonna get the last hit. Smoogly back you, last hit. Oh, he gets it. All right, what a nice player. And Link also dies here over near top lane. Sess gets himself killed. Blink 
now up on him as well. And he had a DD. Mech is finished on Dark. That's like as actually well. my favorite rune on Puck is DD. Really? Because after you do like the waning rift coil orb combo, you know you're kind of like out of gas. Stunned in there, right? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. But when you have a DD, you actually have enough damage to secure kills that like there's no way you'd be able to get otherwise. And Misery is kind of getting, he's getting a snap right now. Okay. Doesn't feel great for him. No sun strike. No sun strike. All right. I mean, I think if they wanted to kill, they could actually use MP for it. But it seems like they're holding that one. There's about 40 boys in the bushes, waiting for it though. I think um, stampeding like aggressively like that, unless you know for certain that your whole team is going to be able to back you up. Like they didn't have Bonk either. So, like, like, nah, just great play here by uh, MSS. We saw the Lisi attempt to be getting casted, but as soon as he walked in range, raining Rift forced him back, and uh, a couple more right clicks from MSS. MSS has got a dagger and 1600 gold. He is filthy rich, like. Yeah. Yeah. He needs to be that playmaker though. Like he needs to continue making stuff like that happen because the more he does that the farther behind the supports get. Like, he can have his oh. relevance be maintained for a longer period of time. Nice Nightmare. Arrow's gonna come out as well right onto Ace. Should be a pretty free kill. And this is exactly what they needed, too, because the more picks like that they get, they get free towers like this. They assume map control away from a Spectre who desperately needs places to farm, because he's gone to, I would say, relatively defensive items. Drums, of course, maybe less so than the Vanguard, but he's still not gonna have that massive teamfight presence that a Radiance gives you for another at least 10 minutes. Yeah. So... That's assuming him farming, like, really well. Which, right now, I mean, sure, his farm is okay, but he's farmed to get more items to stay safe. He hasn't farmed to get items to kill people. When I see the Vanguard, I think you want to fight. Like, that's his... That's well, the, the whole thing. purpose of it is because they know that Dog is going to play aggressive. Mm -hmm. So you're right, he does buy it to fight. But that's also very... It's diminishing his teamfight presence by making him less of a threat. Because Later the tankier on. items that you get, sure, you're going to be harder to kill. You're relying basically on Desolate and Dagger damage to get kills for you and the rest of your team, of course. But it also means that you yourself become inherently less scary because yeah, you don't have that Yeah, it's a defensive to play in an offensive style. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not saying it's the wrong choice. I'm just saying that he needs time. Yeah. I, I, I do believe it's a little bit of an awkward choice when you go both drum and vanguard. Like, you just delay your di your item so, so much more, like you said. Yeah. Also, that glyph earlier on that tier two. If they can weather the storm, though, and they can get through the mid game, I expect they will do really, really well against this team. I don't think they can do much if Spectre gets like a lot of items. And armor and stuff, he'll be nearly unkillable. Well, there there is an argument of the Fiend's Rib, right? They they have enough lockdown to keep him in place and, and just burst him down. Looks like they're gonna Dyer's actually initiate the mid lane. Central Ward, that is Dyer's, so... You need to sleep one and grip the other. And here we go, that's exactly what we see. Rise, a very very tanky. He's like not losing any HP. Here comes the hop. The green rift's gonna come. They're gonna pop up. They're gonna burst him down. Here comes Ace though. So Coil gets oh, dropped out here. Ace is dropping low, but everybody on Team Doc's still alive at this point. The graving Ace. Ace is just barely trying to inch out of there. And I think he's gonna survive. Are they gonna keep chasing? Blink or that's gonna get one more kill. Orb's gonna John it. Long arrow. Crit. He gets hit by the arrow. Anybody gonna focus him? One more right click. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. Give me them points, Misery, that's my boy. You couldn't have asked for a better initiation than that, because not only did Radiant's they get the, middle like the two disables off, but they got the disable on the only two heroes that could have saved them from that situation, you know? Like, you Nightmare the Dazzle, and you go for the guy who has the mech so he can never use the mech. The he got arrowed, like, right after the grip, and then the vacuum yeah. into the orb, into the waning rift, and they killed him before he could do anything. If he didn't get vacuumed, he would have had enough time shot. to mech. Yeah, I think the mech coming off would have been a big difference in, in, in a fight like that. Yeah, we saw Darkseer and Chen, like they had the, the heal on Dog, all of a sudden they're all in full life, and it's like, oh shit, yeah. panic station. Yeah. So a really, really nice, nicely coordinated team fight there. Misery started things off very well, I might add. And, I mean, Dog has been getting the advantage pretty much in terms of experience and gold for most of the game, but this is what their lineup is kind of built for. They had a, a Dark Seer who was able to play relatively greedy. They rotated their supports very early on in the game to pressure Unicorn and the two supports bottom. And then off the back of getting like two or three picks, a couple on Link, I think Crit actually, or no, Ace died top, right? As well as, as, well as uh, Link did. So just those small picks kind of put MYM in this really awkward spot where now, like Shane said, they're just going to have to tough it out. So they're also they going for to two Necro books on Bane and Chen. Yeah. So, like, they're going to press that advantage pretty hard. Yeah, not only that, Mirana is going for Deso as well, which is one of the more cost-effective items early on. So I, I think Team Doc's looking to end this game in about five to ten minutes, if that. So MYM, like you said, have to tough it out. But they're actually going to be going on the offensive. Pycow with the Aegis is going to come around. Multiple TPs are coming in. Dyer's they see crit, top. and they want to end. Blade Rating Rift, Orb Dagon. 
one. He's done, and they're chasing for more. Yeah, and uh, that dagger actually ran out, so Spectre was stuck mm. on the high Dyer's ground on the other side of the river and had to run to the right, actually, instead of straight down. He, so. he has a TP, so if yeah. he wants that to... Quilling blade value Radiant's there. Did you see that? He yeah, he cut attack. his way through the trees towards the large camp. But yeah, he's going to be fine. Oh. And Desolator now on Marana as well. Holy cow. I like that choice, though, specifically because it helps you break high ground a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Desolator affects towers, so you can just push the last tier twos. You got mid and bottom, and then you can just go base. In and terms of raw well. damage output, do you think Maelstrom, obviously a little bit more pricier than the Deso, is... Or sorry, not Mjolnir. Maelstrom, Mjolnir, yeah. Do you think it's just better overall? It's a really good lane pushing item, and it's nice to be able to put the Mjolnir on high priority targets. Like, say they want to try to go for Smogaleg to stop the mech, or they want to go for Fog, you can put it on them. If it gets one or two hits off, like just from the reactive, mm -hmm. then I think it's a, a very worthwhile item. And it helps you push a lane faster than Odessa will, for sure. Right. Because but the lightning proc hits multiple targets. But for breaking the base... Obviously in this case, right? What, yeah. what they try to do accomplishing winning the game soon, yeah, I think that's later is by far better. I think it's really good against uh, illusion heroes like Spectre if he gets Manta style or something like that. Whoever's focusing, Radiant's you can just put the laser beam on him. Yeah, it pretty much procs to everyone. And if the new rework of that item is like, it makes it's it crazy good. It's now. insane. It's like the size of the screen Radiant's nearly. The bottom tower has the bronc, the yeah, runner, it hits yeah. from any. It's like a an actual AOE now. Yeah, yeah. It's not a instead of an arc. Yeah. 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 Interestingly, Dyer's Misery's not pushing with the team right now. Looks like they're actually going to try to bait this tower. Or the TP's going to be coming in. Here comes the Necrobook on crit. Big Dyer's That's top it. Tower I'm surprised has he didn't just go in there by himself. Like, Dyer's what are they going to do? Tower is under attack. I think he could have very easily just stopped that on his own, to be honest. Is like, he trying to cancel the haunt from... The plan? Yeah, here comes a grip. I don't think oh, he's going to get the He can't reality to it. Yep. It's just a bunch oh, of illusions. Oh, he finally gets there. But that was a really bad choice. The arrow's going to fly out. Back you back on the unicorn as well. Coil hits on two. MSS secures the kill on unicorn with the dagger. Now they want to try to get more link. He gets grave from crit. We'll be able to walk away after the overgrowth. And the Darkseer wall was also used outside of the base. So... I think the Spectre was panicking. He was like, I need to get to the team fight. I need to... I just kind of like spammed it. And he like teleported light. into the wrong person. Yeah, he, he died for it. Uh, neck Group books. They're all cool though. Yeah, they are. Uh, and the, the wave is also, Dazzle Weave is also kind of weakening them. But that's going to give Bane slowly time to waddle down there and get in position for the next fight. Does Bane waddle? A little bit. He, he, he he's more like a glider, right? Yeah, he's a glider. Yeah. He doesn't really. He's almost got a book three, man. Man, he is rich. Yeah. I think Necroboga is so good on Bane, like just simply for what we saw. We saw the Fiend's Grip. Fiend's Grip, by the way, already drains mana, and then you have Necroboga attacking. Radiant's and Nightmare drains mana as well. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Drains... Life? Life, yeah, it's, it's HP removal. Yeah. Radiant okay. structures I thought it did. That'd be sick if it did, though. That would be ridiculous. ridiculous. Is, that yeah. it? is that on your patch notes? <laughs> Who's patch notes? The patch notes, sorry. The patch notes. Not the one we saw today, no. Yeah, I, um... I really like it on Clockwork as well, the Necro Book. For the same reason as Bane, like you hook in, you cog, any hero with an escape is gonna get eaten alive by babies. Beastmaster as well. Yeah. It's all really, really solid. And Beastmaster gets added effect. What is Invoker saving for, by the way? Like 3,800 gold. That's a good question. He's probably going for a hex, I guess. Like, so. I don't, maybe he wants to just, if he buys an eggs now, it seems too early. You kind of want the fourth level of invoke before you buy eggs. Ace is going to eat an arrow on the face here. And it just goes in, he just instantly kills Crit with the waiting rift, the orb, and the dagon. Stampede going to be used, but unfortunately just doesn't matter that much. Sheba's now picked up on Smogelig as well. Wall and the vacuum link stuck outside of the base. Gonna go down. Pycat picks up a double damage with the entry up long distance. MSS with another double damage. This guy never not have that rune. Can work back outside the base tier two. I wouldn't be surprised to see GG. Like, it's a baller. It's getting out of control. Yeah, I mean, we're looking to our unicorn, and he he almost has a relic. But uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be playing relic radiance two racks down, and if that matters. I really like the way that dog played this though, because looking at the draft, he could have very easily set up down and kind of just take a late game, and we just see another kill there from uh, from MSS. He kills crit. Yeah, it's not great for him. He's, I mean, it's great for MSS because he's nine zero and three, but it's not great for crit. 
but I really like the way that they kind of abused Darkseer's pushing potential in the offlane to set up ganks for themselves. Yeah. You know, because they had a Chen, so they knew they could tower dive very easily. And they knew that Darkseer pushes the wave very fast, even at like just level 5. Two level 3 iron shells kills a creep wave really damn fast. He was even level 2 when they yeah. started Duna. They had such a good team for tower diving. And because MYM had such, let's be honest, they're pretty greedy picks, right? Like Spectre and Tree together. It's very easy to punish those types of lanes because they don't have any way of really dealing any damage. And Dazzle didn't have any points in a grave, even at level 3. Yeah. So there was no way of punishing the dive. So I think that dog just like straight up outplayed them. But dog, like aside from that first initial gank on the bot lane, they didn't really dive, right? They just keep putting iron shell. They had two supports on the back line, just like saying, yeah. "Hey, if you get close, we're gonna kill you." That kind of thing. They seem to find the picks like in the jungle beside yeah, yeah, the tower. Yeah. So, but they could have dived. They have against living armor. It's always very so, yeah. The dark seer will just true, true. rip it apart. Yeah. Like. And the I mean, other thing you have to take well. into account too is you can actually use Nightmare to just break the tower targeting, right? Yeah. And you can also just use Surge. Or you can just use a creep to take the tower. Top lane, Rise is gonna get blinked yeah, and uh... He is so damn tanky, but... Uh, he's not that tanky though. Know? I feel like Rise has this 15 yeah. magic wand charge Dyer's since the beginning of the game. He just never had a chance to use it, man. I'll be honest though, that one fight Dazzle. middle where Misery had the uh, Marana ulti on and he managed to find Crit and Rise together. Mm -hmm. That was like... Dyer's top that was almost the game attack. right there. You mean a very game-changing point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because think about it. Crit is really the only one who could have saved him from that kind of initiation. Like, if he gets gripped like that, because you Dark walk up in a shallow grave, right? <sighs> or you have maybe the tree give you living armor and overgrowth to stop it. But I don't even think that Link was six to against this. Bottom tower like, is under uh, attack. you don't. Yeah. Because the game, two, two is under three under take on the game wasn't supposed to get to this point anyway. Though. Like, they were supposed to do a little bit better. But that combo, like, lining the arrows right after the grip ends and everything, like, we're going to see MYM just kind of get talked to right here. Misery manages to nightmare himself, and I think he's going to get the deny. Yeah, he does. He denies himself, and it's a massive, just white. It's five for nothing, or five for one, but it was a deny kill on MYM. They call GG, so... We never found out what Ryze was going to buy. I was very curious when he had 3k yeah, go. he was just sitting on there. Uh, maybe book. Victory. book would not be good against you. Thank you for your next book, I'll take that one. Yeah, but, I mean, what else could he buy? What else would he, he, he could buy that would have been It can't be eggs, because it was too early. The ultimate orb. He could have gone, Shivas. He could have gone, like, like Orchid a, or Shivas or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something Those like that. Those would have been pretty solid choices, but overall, I think the MYM's draft, it got punished. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Like, mm -hmm. Dog definitely punished